So today on Techno Dad Life, we're going to be enabling virtualization and wake up on LAN in our BIOS in both an Intel and an AMD machine. And so here you can see our drives. We have four drives uh, in there, uh, three regular hard drives, one SSD. That's what we're going to be installing, uh, installing our system to. Uh, we also have, you can see, 12, 14 gigabytes or megabytes, excuse me, of RAM. Uh, there's our BIOS. Uh, this is an old machine, and you can see the last update was in 2011. So let's take a look at some of the other things here. So we're going to tab over here, and so we don't really need to change anything here. And we're going to go over power settings, and so we're going to change two things. So uh, the first is wake on land, and so we're going to hit enter and go down to enable, click enabled. And then we're going to go down to virtualization technology that's disabled. And we're going to enter on that one and enable that one. And so then we're going to go over to Exit, uh, Save Exit and Changes. And so that's basically what you would change on an AMD uh, BIOS or processor with a, or, or BIOS with an AMD processor. Uh, for Intel, they're going to be using slightly different words, but it will be the same. So next, we'll show you on an Intel board. Okay, so here you can see a uh, slightly different BIOS. This is a Intel BIOS, but also on a slightly newer computer. Uh, you can see it's a Toshiba. And so here it looks very easy to find what we want. So uh, basically, we want the VTX on there only. And you can see if we click on there, basically our only two choices are enabled or disabled. Uh, the other thing that we want to do is just look at the BIOS. And from there, we can just click click on land and then just press F10 for save and exit. And that's how you change the BIOS on an Intel machine. And you can see today, very short video, very simple. The hardest part is knowing which button to push to actually get into the BIOS. Uh, on my Lenovo machine, it was F1. On my HP, it was F8. On my other machine, it was F2. And what I would really suggest doing is just going online, Googling your machine and which machine or which key it is you need to press to get into the BIOS. Otherwise, very simple, just change one setting for virtualization, one setting for wake up on LAN. Take care and make sure you like and subscribe.